yeah, in, in, in fact, I see this as a compliment. Uh, complimenting uh, both uh, my duty as a state ESCO uh, and also uh, my duty as an MP. Uh, because uh, uh, under our federal system, uh, there are so many aspects of the administration of the country comes under the federal. So I will uh, highlight the many uh, issues uh, affecting the state of Perak here. In fact, uh, I think this voice is needed, especially in view of the reason uh, initial uh, uh, signs that the federal government may not want to uh, help uh, the state uh, with the closure of the uh, Majlis Tingdak, uh, this uh, Council for Tourism, for example. And uh, so I would like to remind the federal government that the people of Perak uh, pay taxes to the federal and therefore the federal government is obliged and under duty to return back the money to the people of Perak. Well, uh, people ask me how much time should I allocate for both being Menteri Besar of Selangor and uh, also uh, the state uh, uh, representative from Egypt and also a member of parliament in Bandar Tun Razak. Uh, uh, by on average, I will be spending about 70% of my time dealing with the state and uh, EJO matters and 30% of my time uh, relating to the parliamentary matters. Uh, most of my parliamentary work will be done uh, on Thursday and also on uh, the weekends and, um, and the rest uh, of the effort will be done uh, during the weekdays where I will have to attend the state executive meeting and the state planning meetings. And on Thursday uh, is, is an open uh, forum for those who wanted to see both the Menteri Besar and the Member of Parliament for Bandar Tun Razak.